Hey guys, back again here. Um, been a long time since I've done a video on this channel. Um, with everything going on in the world, I haven't been slot car racing very much, which means I haven't been putting a lot of effort into slot cars. Um, so anyway, uh, that said, there has been a few things still going on that you can do uh, besides just racing your home track, and that's uh, called proxy racing. So I get this question a lot. Uh, you know, when I'm posting some of my cars and explaining their purpose, uh, I'll get the question, what is a uh, proxy race? And it's pretty simple, really. Um, it's organized online, and it'll be a, a race format, usually based off of a, uh, you know, racing series or car type, um, where an organizer will post a, a set of rules for these cars that you have to strictly follow. Uh, maybe a approved list of cars for the series and then a list of tracks that they will compete on and the idea is to build the fastest car possible within that rule set send it out and it gets driven by three or four different people at every track so a different driver in each lane at every track uh, usually for a 10 race series um, and the one who accumulates the most points during that time wins. Um, a lot of people say to me, well, that doesn't sound like much fun. You don't get to drive slot cars. And that's true. You don't get to drive it. I mean, you get to do the testing and you get to build the car, which for someone like me and a lot of people who compete in these series, that is a lot of the fun um, is to build it and see how it stacks up against some of the other best slot car builders around, at least in 132. Um, so that's the real appeal. Um, you know, with the recent COVID-19 stuff going on, we haven't been racing here at all, which means my testing for these races has gone down substantially uh, or next to nothing except for my little home track, which is wood, so I can do some work. Um, but for the most part, it's been the only way to interact online. And for a lot of us, it's about the community around slot cars. Um, and proxy racing definitely promotes that community. So anyway, I thought I'd just go through uh, a few of the, the cars that I have built for proxies. Um, some of the basic rules. I'm going to try to keep this video under 10 minutes. Um, and some of the things that will make you successful proxy racing while, while we go over this number one is the car you choose absolutely makes a difference um you'll find if you do your research on past and previous or past and current proxies there is one or two cars that might stand out from the rest as far as performance that does not mean you have to build that car if you want to just build a car because you like the way it looks then by all means you should do that um, some of us want to build the fastest, most competitive car in the rule set, and therefore uh, one or two cars might make more sense. Um, that said, the easiest proxy to get into, and one we're not going to probably run this year because I was hosting, is um, Scalextric F1 cars. And this was the F1 proxy on Home Racing World. Um, the reason why this was great is it's basically a box stock Scalextric chassis. Um, you weren't allowed to modify the car in a lot of different ways, and it only utilized an 18K motor, a spec motor for every car. There was, I think, two that we allowed. Um, so that takes a lot of the testing out of gear, uh, out of uh, motor testing um, for a particular car. So this was a really easy one to get into, and the competition was super close. Um, the cars are $30 a piece to get started. Um, so this is one you might want to check out in the future if we got it going on as a as a starter um they're really fun to drive actually and they look really really scale and cool to watch um moving up um, a lot of my proxy cars aren't here at the moment so i only had a few to show you um, one that we're doing next year hopefully is called the championship proxy this is one for anybody who's finished top five in one of our home racing world proxies and it'll be all based around the Porsche 956 and 962 by slot it the rules are actually quite um, strict because we're trying to create a challenge in which the tuning is mostly the um, 
the deciding factor. Um, so it'll be stock slotted motors. Um, you have to have the stock interior, stock body. Um, this one I've been testing in this angle wire, angle winder configuration with this short can. Um, and we also have to run eight millimeter tires. So again, a lot of rules. There's a lot of just testing different combinations of parts to figure out what's going on. One that we'll be hopefully be running next year as well. And the one that I'm hosting instead of F1 will be Fly Classics. So there'll be a list of approved cars. Sorry, the light is kind of blue. Um, and there's a whole list of rules for this on the Home Racing World Forum that you can check out. This will be, a, it's going to be pretty popular. I think we have 27 or 30 people signed up to qualify into this um, race. We're going to be taking 25 of the top 30 qualifiers or uh, whoever, however many sign up. And they'll be going into the 10 race series. Um, the one that you might find uh, a lot of talk about on the forum or even videos on Facebook if, or Facebook and uh, YouTube, if you look around, will be what was called the Group 5 Proxy and is now called the GT3 Proxy. And this is usually the fastest proxy on the internet. Um, it certainly seems to be every year. Um, the cars tour around and break track records, and it can be really cool for not only uh, track owners to see these cars and drive them and stuff, but uh, it really is competitive and pushes people to build some astonishingly fast cars. Last year, I finished, I think, fifth place with a NSR AMG GT3. Um, I was a little bit underpowered compared to a lot of other people, but did still finish well. This year, I'm hoping to enter this Area 71 um, C8R Corvette. Um, this is a 3D printed carbon fiber body um, shell. Um, takes a lot of fit and finish, um, but it does uh, perform really well. And the rules in this class are uh, very loose. There's almost no limitation on what you can do besides some basic rules. There's no motor power limit. There's no um, Besides the list of approved bodies, the rules are pretty um, open. So, of course, the cars get very fast. Um, the gear ratio and the motor you choose does make a massive difference. You have to strike that balance between um, speed and still having a car that's drivable. So, that said, I'm going to use the last minute or two here to give you some tips. One, the fastest outright car you can build will almost never win a proxy. Um, I haven't won one yet. I've come close, but what you're looking for is a car that's easy to drive fast and that almost anybody in your club or at your house can pick up and burn some pretty quick laps with. That's usually one that's going to qualify well and really race well, which is the main thing that matters in proxy racing. Can you get it to the finish line? Durability matters. Um, you know, guides, reinforcing certain areas, bushings, um, ball bearings if they're allowed. All those should be high quality um, and relatively new um, when you go to send a car out. Tires are the most important thing. Uh, the NSR Super Grip and the Thunder Slot are the, the really only competitive tires, or the Ultra Grip by NSR are the really only competitive tires out there. Um, for wood, no magnet racing. And there are other proxies on plastic tracks where other tires might do better, but typically that's going to be the most important thing. So spending a lot of time with a tire truer, learning how to do the sanding, you know, treatments, running the tires in before sending out your car is really going to be the difference between being successful and being at the back of the pack. Um, if you have any other questions about this, you can drop it in the, the, uh, comments section and I'm going to try to give put a link in the description to Home Racing World's website about proxy racing so you can learn about this pretty cool way to compete without um, you know having a track or being able to go to the track it's a really cool way to um, you know race cars in an online community and track them and you know basically have months of entertainment with one car Thanks for watching.